Good morning out there, everyone. I am Corinne Braxton, and today is September 12th. It's Monday. Happy Monday. I'm a, I am usually don't come. I usually come on Tuesday, do the Facebook Lives, but um, I am going to Wisconsin to see my mom and my family tomorrow. So I thought I'd come to a day early. And it. I am coming to you from Bozeman, Montana. It's pretty, it's about 60 degrees. It's going to get up to 80 and it's very smoky. The air quality is very unhealthy right now. So hoping we get some rain or snow real soon. Except I don't want snow for my flowers, but rain would be wonderful. So let me see if I'm transmitting and see if we have anyone watching on this different day. Um, let me see once here. Just take a minute. I can see myself. Okay, there we go. Good morning. Oh, I have there. to turn the sound off. So, okay, we have, I have a really fun class for you this morning. I think you'll really enjoy, but a few things first. We have several specials going on in September. So let's see if we have anyone following us. I may, maybe, may, there we go, swipe to the left. Um, this is a different time and day, so it might be a little tricky to see if anyone finds us. We have all kinds of, we have weekly deals. Uh, Stamping Up did this way back, oh, I don't know, it was a long time ago. I've been a demonstrator for 10 years, and they did it one of my first couple of years, and it was always fun, but we didn't have as much on the internet then. But now, they every week, it starts on Thursday, so these products, the ones that are on this week will go until Thursday. So these are the weekly deals and they're discounted by about a dollar and a half to two dollars on everything. So we have all kinds of, so this month or this week we have, I love these uh, trinket flowers. They're a little bit heavy, but they're gorgeous. And I'm gonna use them today on one of the tree, the Christmas trees. We have some golden rose gold sh uh, glitter paper. Oh, and we have um, this gorgeous soft succulent satin ribbon, um, the slimline envelopes that are, oh, hey, Linda, good to see you this morning. I'm glad you found us. See if anyone else, if you'll just do thumbs up and things like that, make a comment, tell us where you're watching from. Um, that helps others find us too. So there's some of this curly red ribbon. Uh, that's fun. And oh, the chalk pastels, the box of chalks. That's discounted almost a uh, dollar and a half. Hey, Munch, good to see you this morning. Some freezer ribbon, uh, the snowy velvet sheets. I like those a lot. We used those this weekend. Um, in my stamp camp, uh, some frayed white ribbon. And then these two things, the tray chic memories and more. And let me show you what those are. Um, they're pretty neat. These gorgeous pack of cards that you, you know, there's things to make things really simple. Um, they're for, for memory keeping, scrapbooking, and but you can use them on, in card making too. You And they have, um, you know, one side will have, like you make me smile, the other side is quite plain. And then they have these beautiful cards and uh, envelopes. So these are all things that are, these are the, these are the cards, the, the cards like this, and they're, just a little bit bigger than a normal size uh, A2 card. And then these gorgeous, look at the inside of that and the uh, foil on there. I love these. Um, I need. I should have made something today with it, this. I didn't even think about it. Um, but that would, be, that would be a nice thing to do. So we have those weekly deals. So uh, don't forget about those. Those change every Thursday. Then we have the perfect partners that are on sale. This is just two more weeks till the end of September. And today we're going to use the trimming the tree and we're going to use the fresh cut flowers again. I did that last week, but we're gonna do something different today with some of the die cuts. So that's for today. And so we will see if we can get a few more people watching shortly and we're going to Turn the camera down. I'll flip the camera. You close your eyes for a second. Here we go. I had a stamp camp this weekend all day Saturday, 9 o'clock until 4 o'clock. And we had a really fun time. These are some of the things that we did. We did five projects with um, lighthouses. We made this uh, 
framed art. This is an eight by eight. It stands up. And uh, we did that. I mean, did three lighthouse cards. And then in the afternoon, we did things with the fish and the sailboat. And it was really, we had a potluck lunch. It was really nice. We had a lot of, it was a, it was a lot of fun, a lot of laughing, a lot of talking and laughing and just socializing and having a good time. So let me pull my table close to me and we're going to start with trimming the tree. I'll pull these up and get those out of those. It just helps me focus. So trimming the tree and the dies are called uh, tree trimmings. So they are like that. Put those right there. And that's a pretty, this set is in the annual catalog. It, it's in the annual catalog on one of these pages. Um, here it is, page 43. And it's really nice when they put it in the, the main catalog. You have a tendency, they have a tendency to stay longer. Well, first of all, it's good for the entire year, but sometimes they carry over to the following year. And this would be a nice one. But, but anyway, it's a really, it's a very nice set. And... There's some, those little tiny pearl red, um, there's pearl red and pearl green and white, silver and gold. They're sort of neat. They're right there, but just not really show a really good picture. Anyway, we're going to play with those today. And then we are, let's see, um, why did I mark this? Oh, we have some embossing folders. Um, I'm going to show you this. The first embossing folder that we're going to be using is this one called Whimsical Woodland. Oh my goodness, I love it. It is just a really cool set. And, but I wanted to show you, it's not, um, it's really hard to find in the catalog. I think they did not do a real good job. This is what it looks like real close up in white. I'm working on something, a project for next week. But um, anyway, I love that. I love that look. And it's very whimsical, just like it says. It's called Whimsical Woodland. And that is on page, in the mini catalog, page 39. And you can barely see it on the page until I point it out. It's right there. And they really haven't done justice to that. Um, the other one that we're using is the uh, Merry Melody, the music one. And that one's found in the main catalog, the annual catalog. So what we're going to do today is we're going to play with some alcohol ink. We'll show you the projects that we're going to do first. So we're going to do a Christmas tree one like this, and we're going to do this background. And then after that, we're going to switch to another background that looks something like, like this. So we, I love this technique. I'll show you a couple things that I did um, maybe last year. Last fall, I did this pumpkin one. We had these dyes. They're no longer in the catalog, but they were beautiful in that background. I did that in a video. You can probably go back. I did this one with the, um, what are those called? Those, they look like water ponds. Anyway, that I did that one a year ago. And um, let me see if I had any other ones here. Oh, here's one. This is my all-time favorite. This one I did with the mountains and the backgrounds. I used three different colors. So I do have videos on those and you can probably go back there about a year ago. So we're going to start with some vellum. Let me get my little kit out and put these aside for a second. And this is the card. This is one of the cards that I did. And here is the other one. This one is I used the music background. And this one I made a little smaller um, with a smaller scallop. And this one is the whimsical background. So let's take our kit out. And you tell me, do you want me to use the whimsical background or the music? Hey, Nancy, good to see you too this morning. Um, tell me real fast, just type it in, uh, put down either music or whimsy whimsical whimsical or whimsy either one of those we're gonna we're gonna use those for our mat cut both of them cut they're four by five four inches by five and a quarter 
and our base is going to be shaded spruce and it's five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. So I like to put my little, that little groove to the inside, fold it, give it a good bone folding. And whimsy music. I see one, two whimsy, one music. Let's see, let's see if we have any more. Good morning, everyone. Okay, I think we're gonna use the, mute, the whimsy. We'll use the whimsy like that, okay? And so I'm going to set that aside, and then we're going to do our, we're going to bring in our vellum. Let's see if I have my, I don't have my, uh, I wonder where I put that. My little, my little pieces. Let me see if I can find those. Well, it looks like I don't even have them cut but we can, that's not a problem. So we can do that right now. And I'll bring my trimmer up here. I thought I checked all these things. It's, um, we'll just do a, we're gonna do a, first we're gonna do a, we'll just do that. And, um, and then we'll come back after it's dry and we're going to, we're going to do some, we're going to do more cutting on that. And then this is our scallop piece, so I have that behind me. What we're going to do is, I'm going to do the alcohol ink on this vellum. So now let me bring in, I think I'll just bring in um, my silicone mat so you can see how I do this. Mine are also um, colored because I, they're stained from various things. Okay, and we're going to bring in our blends. And I have three different colors of blends. I have the dark Bermuda Bay Parakeet, dark Parakeet Party. I love using this Parakeet Party. I'm using it in both cards. And the dark shaded spruce. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this down a little closer. And zoom in a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to, and we want to use the wide tip and not all of these. And I'm going to use the side of it. Not the tip, but the side. And I'm just going to make circles like this. Just little splotches. Like that. And I love this color mixed with other colors. I think it's really pretty. Put a little, make that a little bigger. Um, and it works better to use the darks. The, you know, we have blends in light and dark. And this one is the Bermuda. So I'm going to add a little Bermuda. And every one of these will turn out completely different. Completely different. So no two will ever be alike. It's just really fun. It's a fun technique. You can be talking on the telephone or something and coloring in um, these and then dabbing them with alcohol. So this one is the shaded spruce. It's very similar to the um, Bermuda. Isn't it? I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'm going to fill in a couple more spaces with this. And this is just plain vanilla uh, vellum that we sell in our, it comes in um, a pack like this and you get 20 sheets. It's eight and a half by 11. It's a nice heavy weight vellum that stamping up makes. Um, you can, there's cheaper vellum. I would not ever use that. I like the heavier vellum. And I like the way, I like the way this does well, like with when you're doing um, embossing. So what we're going to do next is uh, take our, this is really important in this technique, 99%, 99.9%, almost 100% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I got this on Amazon and you can use the, the, rubbing alcohol that you buy in the Walgreens or CVS, but it won't be 99.9. .9. It'll be 90% or whatever. It will work, but your vellum will curl more. This dries extremely, it's flammable, and it dries very, very quickly. I am going to pour a little bit into the cap, and I'm going to set the bottle way away so I don't spill things like I did last week. I'm going to just zoom in. Um, hey, Martina. 
There we go. Keep. There we go. And now I'm going to take our, um, we sell these stamping up, I sell these water painters. They're really, they're, they come in a, these are new, I don't know if they were new last year maybe or this year, but they come in three different um, packs. You have a, you get one that has a very wide tip like this one. This is the one I'm going to use for my alcohol. And I take them, I don't have water in these. I You could put alcohol, but I actually just would like dipping it better. So one is very wide tip and the other is um, like that. It's medium, very pointed bristles and then the other one is a little tiny water painter like this for, for fine detail things um and i'm going to use the flat tipped one i'm going to just start with this and i'm just going to dip it i'm just going to dip the, i'm just going to press it in like that and watch the alcohol do the magic it'll just start spreading like crazy we're gonna put a little bit um, like that. You can see how it's moving already. I'm gonna bring my, bring in my paper towel here, so I can you can see how it. Now I'm gonna take my smaller brush, and uh, I'm just gonna use a little, just a little bit of alcohol on each of those dark colors like that. If you use it, if you use too much, it'll It'll wash the color out completely, but it'll keep working just like that. You can pick it up. You can pick it up and move it. See how it can run like that. So there's a little bit of blank right here. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more alcohol and let it sort of move by itself, fill in that space. It's gonna keep moving. I'm going to put that aside and this will dry in just a few minutes. It won't, it, it will, it will not take a terribly long time. So let's so let's just set that aside over here for now. And then I'm going to just bring in my other alcohol piece for the other card that we're doing. And um, I'm going to... This one is three, four inches by two and three fourths. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the balance, this part now. And on this one, we're going to use some different colors. We're using the in colors, and I love, I love using. In, I used a lot of in colors again this weekend, and I think they're just gorgeous. Hey, Carla. It does look like magic, doesn't it? It really is. It's like magic, and it is really, really fun. That 99% alcohol is really one of the biggest keys to this. So this I'm using Parakeet again. I'm using turquoise, not turquoise, uh, Tahitian Tide Dark. And then I'm using the, I'm going to use very little of this dark sky, sky, starry sky. But So we're going to start again with the, I'm going to, Start we're gonna start with the um parakeet party. I have a hard time spelling parakeet sometimes. Um there we go, we're just gonna put just little circles or ovals or whatever, little scribbles is what they are. Little scribbles. So okay. Um let's see, maybe I should put it on white paper. Let me see if that would work better so you can see it. Oh, like that, maybe? That's a little bit better, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I tried that. And next, we're going to use the, temp the uh, dark Tahitian. Beautiful color. I love our glitter paper in all these, in these, uh, in colors. So... This is sort of a fun technique to do with the grandchildren, too. Uh, if, if they're a little bit older, they can handle this. Um, this is the star dark, starry sky. And I just want to use a little bit of this. Just putting it in like that. 
Ja. Just like that. There we go. How is the temperature where you guys all live? Has it been raining or is it getting like, is it turning into fall? I'm going to add a little bit more turquoise. Um, it's really been good. We had um, good football weather this weekend here in town. It was cooler. Last weekend it was 100 degrees when they had the, our college team, the Bobcats, uh, Montana State, kicked off. And this week it was really nice. And then our grandkids had football football games too. I didn't get to go because I was doing the stamp camp, but I'm going to schedule better in the future so I don't have things um, during their football season. So I'm going to put, I'm going to start with the lightest color. I'm just dabbing on that 99% alcohol. And then I'm going to go to the turquoise next, just a little, little dab. Let it spread. You see how it's just working its way? It's just working its magic is what it's doing. So now I'm going to just touch that dark one, the starry sky. There we go. Let's see how it, let's see if we can tip it a little bit. See how, you, how it's bleeding. And I did. I, I did try this technique. Now and then, if you want to, you can you can sort of dab it. Like if it's if there's too much alcohol on it, you can just sort of soak it up with a paper towel. Take off some of that color if you want. Um, this is gonna let it bleed more. Um, let's see what's here. Like we need, and you can always go back after it's completely dry, and you can um, add more blends to it. So you can tip it and let it bleed like that. I think that's a little bit much of the um, of the what's it called the starry sky. I'm going to set it over here to dry, and then we're going to bring in our other one. Let me put that cap back on the. Isopropyl. This is the isopropyl alcohol, 99%. It's cold there and rain. Hmm. Um, well, we wish we would get some rain here for sure. Okay, here is the here is the piece that I did before with just a few minutes ago for the Christmas tree. It's all dry, and now we can cut it. And I'm just going to bring in my we we have to measure first though. And let me see, we're gonna do this. I thought we did this, and I maybe did, but maybe it's not around now. I'm going to get my pencil, and I'm my, my ruler, and I like to put this up. I always want to put vellum on top of white. I never would put it on top of the green. It's just too dull. But do you see how it pops when I use the white like that? And so that's what I'm doing, and I'm just using these scalloped rectangles, um, and I'm just going to sort of mark it with a pencil and I actually, you know, you can measure it. I'm just gonna mark it right now though. And um, instead of measuring, cause it'll be an, it's probably an eighth. I remember it being an eighth. So, um, but I will type these up at the end and post them and you'll be able to, to recreate it. But you're, it's just, now I'm going to just take that. And you always wanna save these little strips. They're perfect for the inside of your card. And let's see, let's just trim it right here like that. Just save all those little bits and pieces. I keep a whole folder of just things like alcohol, ink, and vellum. So now this will just go on like this. Oh, it's really pretty. And um, I like to use uh, my Seal Plus. It, um, it, it hides it pretty well. You know, you don't really see a lot of it. I'm going to put it on the place and a little bit on just a little bit on the uh, and I know I can put lots of adhesive right down the middle because that's where the Christmas tree is going to be and we're going to put it on like this I love to you can do whatever you want oh I see that's got a little red on there Mix. I hope it's not maybe it's ink I'm going to use my little eraser my mono it sand eraser and get those online or you can get them in the office supply store. Takes away the ink that looks like some maybe some blends. I don't know what that is. 
Um, okay, and there we have it. Isn't that pretty? And now we can just put our card together. So we're going to take our base, which is just a side closing base. And anytime you've got, this is a pretty detailed uh, embossing folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my adhesive right on, oh, that one's empty. I'm going to put my adhesive right on my card base like this. Because then you don't, otherwise, sometimes you can rip that, that mat. So just put it like that. There we go. And then we need a, I just don't seem to have anything in my kit. I don't know what happened here at all. Must. Um, and I did double check. We're going to put an inside. And this one is three and three fourths by five. But I'm going to show you this. So see how we can do that. We can just run a little strip across the bottom. Like that. And then we can put that on. I don't know, there we go. I think it's like that. So I'm just gonna put it on, we're gonna trim it off like that. Take your snips, trim it, and then we still have some little pieces that we can save for another time. This is gonna go right there. And that's our pretty inside of the card. Okay, let me zoom out so that you can see here. There we go. And now we can put this on. And I'm going to take a, um, you know, we have these dimensional sheets and I love to use these in my stamp camps. We used them again this weekend for our lighthouses. But you just cut them down and they're like big dimensionals. And I've already cut one to, to um, I can just put it right on there instead of using, I would probably use six or seven small dimensionals, regular size dimensionals otherwise, because I don't like things to go through the mail and be smashed. So I do that on bigger things like this. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to work to do that. And make sure this is the right, yep, right direction. There we go. And now we have to do our stamping for our Christmas tree. And let me see what's here. Our Christmas tree. And let's try, I'll try to remember to stamp on the envelope too. That would be nice. And I must have cut that mat some because I've just found some directions. Let's bring in our, I'm going to set this aside. And we're going to bring in our little foam mat that is for stamping. And let me just see, set this right here for a second. Okay, we're going to stamp this Christmas tree. Um, with shaded spruce and we're going to we're going to stamp a greeting would you like me to stamp we have two stamps um, peace and joy and happy holidays which would you like me to stamp so this is what happy holidays looks like like that this one I did peace and joy so you tell me which one peace and joy or happy holidays. Um, I'm going to do the Christmas tree on the envelope first. So we'll get our, our shaded spruce. And here's our Christmas tree. And it's a big one. I'm going to just, I want just a little bit more maybe. And it's photopolymer. So that you can see through it. And there it is. And then we're going to put some green, some parakeet party on it next. We're going to fill it in with the parakeet party. This stamp goes inside of the other stamp. And it's just going to fill in like that. Okay, now, isn't that a pretty, we could put a, tr a trunk on there too, but I'll just leave it. That's our envelope. So now we're going to do our tree and I'm going to put it right here. And first, we're going to ink it up really well. And this is the one that has to be die cut. So really press it in there because it's a big stamp. And then our 
and you have to almost get right over it and see where it fits in. You can almost, you can see that pretty well with these photopolymer stamps like that. I'm going to hold it, let it soak in. There we go. Isn't that great? I like it a lot. Um, close that one up. This one now gets die cut and the dies, let me see where did I put the, the dies. This, this big die, oops, doing things in the air here with an open ink pad below me. Um, so it goes on, it goes on like this. First you die, you, you have to tape it so it doesn't move. Maybe I'll set it down, okay, there we go. And set it, tape it on, and then this one, the smaller one, cuts, it, it, it cuts the branches, it pops them. So now you run it through the embossing machine, and out comes this. And you can see this is all popped up. All, I'm in the, I'm trying to, hey Jeannie, good to see you this morning. How are things down in Ennis? Is it smoky there? But you see how this all just, you can, you can, um, these, these little branches, you can take your piercing tool and poke these out. We have a hydrangea stamp too in the, and a few other flower stamps, but this is sort of cool because you can see how it, you can take your time and just pull these things, these little bristly things out. And, um, okay, what did you all these, uh, peace and joy, peace and joy. Looks like we're going to do peace and joy. So it has a lot there, a lot there. Two la this label and that label, and then there's a big label. Several tree stands, lots of ornaments. Um, they're tiny, tiny, tiny. So we've got our tree. I already die cut the, uh, the tree stand, and let's see. We can do, we could do peace and joy on this. Let's see what if that was the majority. Um, peace and joy, peace and joy, peace. So. Let's see, we could do a Peace and Joy on that one or this tiny one. Let's try Peace and Joy on this little tiny one. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to, I have not used the tiny one yet, but I'm going to try it and see. It's out of the, it's out of the, too high because I didn't have my head over it. So I'll do it on this one. And I'm going to pull, excuse me, I'm going to pull it closer and put my head over it so I can see it better. There we go. That's, that's a little bit up there too. So let's try one more. The third one's going to be the charm. Whoop, that one already is done. Happy holidays. Um, but here's one that's blank. And I don't know if it's in the camera and I'm in There we go. And that's peace and joy. And now we can put that on our card. Let's see. We have, I have a whole, my whole little dish of pieces today. So we have two little tree stands. Look at these little, uh, this is just part of the, you know, the, for the blends and the, the markers and the ink pads and all that. Um, but you can see how tiny some of these things are. These little ornaments are just as itty bitty and they just fall out really, really nicely. They come in a row and um, they're, they're nice, really nice. Um, there are things like this too, but we're not going to use those so because they're just too potsy. We're going to use a, a star for the top and we're going to use a, a, a little basket for the tree. And let's see. Let's put our card together now. And so these are our parts, and here's our true our card. We're going to um, we're going to use this this smaller tree stand, and I'm going to put that on. I'm going to put that one on flat, and just put it on flat. I hate to cover up this beautiful this beautiful paper. It's um it's almost a shame, isn't it? And then we can, you know, if you would take, I'm not going to take my, I'm not going to take up time to pull these all out, but you can take, you could do that. And, um, but we're going to just put some dimensionals on 
you can still even, and I'm going to put just a few on because then I can still pull those branches out. So they're all toward the middle. So I'm just going to use, there we go. And let's see, I've got my light so far away today. We're going to take, um, it's sort of a dark day outside because the smoke is in the air and, um, it's not as sunny as it like you miss that sun so there we go put the tree on I'm going to make sure we have in the camera there we go and peace and joy I'm going to put that flat and just go over that like that And now my star is so small, I am going to take a tiny little mini dimensional. And let's see, I think I'll just, I'll cut, i cut a mini dimensional. It's that small. I can take, take your pick tool, that'll work. Um, they're so hard to handle because they are so small. But sometimes you need them. So now I'm going to take my reverse tweezers and just pop it on just like that so it's on the, so it's still it's not really on top it's it's right above the tree this is the uh, where do I have that reverse tweezers hmm, there it is this is the reverse tweezers that stamping up sells and it's with our embossing kit but it's and it's got teflon so it squeezes like this this is the one I use for just normal because it's but this one is for embossing and it's really neat this is teflon and you, you don't burn your fingers so that's a that's a separate thing though that's for when we do embossing so there we have it and now let's put some gems on that and um i want to put so these are the ones i told you about that were on sale the flowers that are adhesive back trinkets and they're in gold rose gold and silver and we are going to use we're going to just put one of these gold ones right on top of that star that I die cut. I'll tell you what, this, if you have, if, if you like to do Christmas cards and Christmas stamping, this is a great set. I really like it. And it's so nice with the dies. I don't think I would want it if I didn't have the dies and they're only available until, um, so should we put on a, this is, we're going to put some, evergreen on these are the opal rounds and and i think let's see once it, how big the big ones are they're sort of big i don't know hmm well we'll give it a shot i don't want it to overpower it what do you think do you think they're too big or should i put the small ones on um i don't know well let's see I think they're fine. I can always change them. Um, I think it works. It, they, this is what the small ones look like. So maybe that maybe the small ones would be better. I'm going to pull those off and put a small one on instead. Yeah, I think that's better. It doesn't overpower it. The big one is overpowering it a little bit. So that's better, I think. You were probably all saying that too, weren't you? Okay. Looks good and already. So these are the trinkets that are in sale. I think they're dollar fifty off. They're nice, really nice. And there is our card, peace and joy. And you could stamp another Christmas greeting inside, um, whatever you want to stamp. So there's that card. And I still have. You can still see some of that pretty background. I think. Um, here's the one I did earlier. And this with the happy holidays. And then here's another one that I did with the little red bows and the little tiny scalloped rectangle. Um, I think the red is, I don't know about the bows. They're, they're tiny, they're hard to put on. They're okay, they're not, but they, they die cut beautifully. So that's that, and there's our envelope. And we're gonna set that aside. Oh, here's a, uh, here's a round. I just haven't done anything with this yet, but these are just round die cuts and um, with a round piece of vellum on top. 
That's sort of neat too. You can make something else with those. We could put a small tree on. There is a um, there's a there's a third Christmas tree in the die set, and it just all it does. It's a smaller tree than the other one, and it just it does everything all at once. And so you know that's I don't think I like it in the parakeet color, but it is a small tree compared to the. The big trees. So this is the big one with the pop-outs, and this is the small one. But you could build a nice little forest with that. That would be sort of neat. So that was there that card, and uh, let me put that aside. Let me show you a couple other cards. These are not these. This this is not. This was a, a swap card I received from Martha LaFroth, and uh, she just used that stamp. She didn't know this is before the dies came out. And um, but it's really pretty, and she did it looks like with old olive and then stamped like a darker garden green or mossy meadow in there. It's a really pretty card. It's like a I, we should do one of those. Um, it's like a false uh step card. They're neat. Here's another one that I did with um, I used some pine branches for the embossing and and pink star and pink tree stand. This one I don't really like because it's just the wrong color, I think. I think it's just, it just needs a little bit of darkness with it and doesn't have that. Um, but I, that's with that celebration paper that we had. Those are just a couple cards that were that from that. Now, let's bring in our piece that we did earlier for the next card. And here it is. It's all dry. And you can see that's sort of washed out right there. So... You know, if you don't like it, let me show you what we're doing. Um, I'm not real fond of that. It's a little washed right there. So I could take my my markers. I could add some more. Let's just add a little bit more blue. And this will it'll dry quickly. So we'll just add a little bit more blue right there. And uh, that's the beauty of this. If you're not if you're not pleased if it got too wet, I'm gonna add a little bit there. And now we're going to bring in our bottle of isopropyl alcohol again, the 99.9. .9. Just going to put a tiny bit in the cap because we're not going to use very much. And because we want this to dry so we can use it um, again, I'm just going to put that right on here for now. And by the time we get the rest of our card, this should be dry, I guess. We'll just put that like that. So that gives it a little bit more depth. So you do want to you want to keep that alcohol that because it is highly flammable. You want to keep it away from a register or a heater or something like that. Um, keep the tight the cap on tight. Um, but you can get that at Amazon. So that'll dry quickly. We'll just put that aside and bring in our card that we're going to do. And here's one of those. And we are using, lab. remember last week we used the fresh cut flowers and I did some water coloring with the painters. Today I want to use this silhouette, the dyes, and um, that's what I've done with this. So we are going to, that's fresh cut flowers, that's the bundle that's on sale right now. And we have, uh, let me see, the... And I have, this is the Tahitian Tide. And the embossing folder that I used here, can you see that? It's called Quadrafoil, Quadrafoil Tile. It's not, an, it's not a 3D, it's just a regular embossing folder. So the plates are different, but it is gorgeous. And you know, it's so funny because when I saw this in the catalog, I thought, I'm not getting that one. I don't like that one at all. It's too too fancy. And then I saw someone, I saw it in person on a swap card and I loved it. And I love this folder. So, and then the other one that I've used is the, uh, this is the 3D Fern one. So I'll show you those, but those are the two that I've used with this card. And uh, so what we're going to do this is a uh, top folding card, four and a quarter by 11. And then this is a piece of 
of the embossing folder. We're going to just put that right on top. And here again, I'm putting the adhesive on the card rather than on the embossing folder. So now I can just lay it on top it's, and it'll be just fine. And I want to, oh, thank you very much, Carla. Okay, so there's that. And let's bring in our pieces. Got a bunch of pieces here. And we got our, again, we have that. And we have a piece for the inside, three and three fourths by five. And we'll put that on the inside right away. Just like that, take that off. And this is going to, this is, we're gonna put our, our pieces um, right here. And it's going to go like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of Seal Plus on it. I am not someone that worries about vellum showing through, um, the tape showing through. And that's, I like this, the plus, it, I think it shows the least. So you could also do, you know, tapping with your Tombow glue with, you know, like that, that works too. So there we go. I'm gonna, maybe I'll do it this way. Okay, and we're going to pop it up again with a uh, big, this one's not real big, but I think we can maybe do, do that. And then we're going to put another one on there like that. Oop, wrong way. That'll work just fine. We'll put it this way like that. And then we can peel those off. And there we go. So, just like that. Now we're going to do a little stamping. And this is our finished card. So, I'm just, these are the silhouettes that I die cut. And I just thought, oh, I just sort of made this up. I thought, oh, those are just sort of cool. I was first, I was going to do some stamping on the vellum, which you can do. But um, I thought, well, let's do something with these die cuts and they're really sort of cool I think so we're going to do that and we're going to add we're going to add some of these we're going to add a, a green one so we're going to add I think this is orchid oasis this goes all these all go together or do you like the uh, turquoise maybe the turquoise like this it's not turquoise it's Tahitian Tide um I think that looks mm, what do you think I think we'll use the Tahitian Tide, and um, then we can use, um, we can do our punches. Let me see if I can find my punch. Here it is. We are using the, uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's some other language here. Uh, it looks like French, maybe. It's, a, it's the branches. I don't think, huh, that's interesting. I must have cut the wrong one. Um, it doesn't make any difference. I just... But so we are going to punch some little sprigs out and just like that. And let those fall out. I really like this punch because it has this big branch and then it has this little tiny delicate um I don't know, like little petals too with, or little seed pods. They're just, they're nice. So um, I think we'll just put those on. We're going to, let me do that. No, I think we're going to put the turquoise on top. What I'm going to do is, I want to keep these loose, but I'm going to use um, my Seal Plus. And I'm just going to put tape at the bottom because I want them to be sort of flowing. So I'm going to put that on like that and then I'm going to put the Tahitian Tide over it like that and so I want them loose I don't want them off the edge but um and you could even put a third one on if you wanted like that I'm going to save that one so and then I'm going to add these little sprigs and you can just put them you know down there I'm going to use my 
I'm going to put a little seal on both sides of it so it sort of sticks. To, oops, it is now it's sticking to my hair. There we go. Um, I'm just going to peel that up and put it in like that. And we've got another little, we're going to put this one maybe right there on top. And like that. And we can put, we're going to tie a bow with our twine. And we have to do a little stamping too. Forgot about that. And uh, let's see once. Where is the twine? Oh, I love this. I love the in-color twine. It's one of my favorite. I love everything they've done with the in-colors. So um, here we go. I think we'll just get... I think we'll do the uh, Tahitian Tide. And I have not done a bow, so it, I will do that for you. You can either do it with your fingers, but I'm going to do a double bow, so I'm going to um, do my little jig. I have some that are, so I'm going to do it a couple, oh, just around a couple times, whoops, like this, we're going to, it's going to be, and then I'm going to cut that off. So I've looped it three times and then I just cross it over and tuck that underneath and then I tie my knot. You can see that blends on my fingers. Just tie it and then Slip it off like that, and there we have it. And let's see what that looks like. I wanted a bigger bow because I wanted it to have a little substance to it. There we go. And now we're going to take a glue dot or two and I think one will be enough and put it on like that. Now we forgot we need to do our stamping, so let's do that. And uh, I'm not real wild about when I added the extra alcohol. It made that line, but it'll be all right. It's not going to hurt anything either. So um, let me get my foam mat out again. And we're gonna, I've got a strip here. We're going to do a birthday greeting. And on the inside and the outside, we're going to use Starry Sky because that was one of the colors that we used in our alcohol. So this is, um, whoops, a daisy. We don't have a stamp on it. Oh, interesting. I had it on and uh, it's completely empty now. So I've lost it. Lost it. Where is it? Huh. I don't want to use Peace and Joy. Well, I don't have the stamp, but I have a birthday stamp that I can use for the inside. That is so odd. Um, it must have stuck to stuff something. I've never had that happen before. Anyway, let's see what else do we have for the stamp I was using was Art Gallery. And uh, it was this one right here. It's one of my go-to stamps that I use all the time. Um, let me see what else we could use in there. Let's do, um, I'm thinking of you. Yeah, that would work. Let's do that. I'm thinking of you. Well, that's probably not going to fit on there. Maybe it will. Yep. Our best wishes. Let's do best wishes. Best wishes would work with the birthday cinnamon that I have for the inside. Okay, let's see. This is, there we go. These things, these clear. It's so funny because this weekend I found a, uh, I found a die on my on a magnet on a magnet dish. Oh, you know you find things different places, especially when you have magnets. So I'm gonna do best wishes on the outside. And starry sky. It's a little smeary. I'm gonna go over here. Down and up there, and that's better. And now we're going to we're going to cut that off with our snips, and I'm going to angle it like this. And we're going to put it on our card. Oh, that one's already done. So we're just going to stick it in here like that, and we're going to. Just put it right on, on the vellum. Just We're going to tuck it underneath so we have, it's going to be like, oh, I'm glad I had that handy so I could use that one. So best wishes on the outside. I always need 
birthday cards. I just need a lot of birthday cards. If I only could find, ever since I moved into this house, I cannot find my, my birthday book. So I'm sort of guessing. Or I hear some of my family say oh, that someone had a birthday, uh, like one of the grand, one of their grandchildren. Here's the birthday. Um, this is from the pot of geraniums. It's one of my favorites. It's called um, pot of geraniums. Birthdays are reminders that life should be celebrated. It's a great set. I love that birthday sentiment. I did a lot of pot of geranium cards before. Okay, I think that looks perfect. I'm glad I got, got that. Um, Best wishes, that worked well. So here's the other card that I did before. And do you see how light and airy they are? They're pretty neat, I think. Let's see, I did another one too. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Here it is, oops. Here's the other one I did with the, um, I did a small piece of scallop and I did I did um, three and a half, three and three fourths by five in that leaf embossing folder. So I think it looks really pretty. And this is Orchid Oasis. Isn't that a pretty color? So I will take pictures of all of these and then I will post them with the, the directions. I'll have to type those up and have to water, I have to take photos, watermark, then I have to type up directions, post everything at all. And I will put it on Facebook um, and my, my, my Crafting Creations by Corinne. And I will put it on, um, I'm gonna flip this. I will put it on YouTube. And those of you who are watching me on YouTube, please, you know, hit the bell and subscribe. Forward it if you're on Facebook. Forward it. Forward it to your friends. And I'm trying to grow my, my YouTube channel. So um, my grandkids want me to get to a thousand. I'm at 687 right now or something subscribers. So anyway, that's um it's, I'm also I'm so new at all of this. Oh, thanks so much, Jan. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm looking forward to my trip to Wisconsin tomorrow. I'm just going to be there for a few days, and um, I'm hoping the air quality improves here and the rain stops back there. They're getting plenty of rain. It rained all day yesterday too. So I'm going to see my mom. She's doing better. She's hasn't fallen anymore. That's the good news, and her head is healing, um, and um, she's. She's had some issues still with memory, but it's getting better than it was. So we're, we're thankful for that. Okay, and that's it. And I hope to see you next week. I'm sort of thinking I'm going to do a Yeti card, the Yeti ready to Yeti, the Yeti to party or whatever it's called. I haven't made it yet, but I have an idea. I'm going to try to get that all sort of designed today so I can do that when I later on when I get back. So... Alrighty, thanks for tuning in today, a day early, and I appreciate it. I hope you'll try this. Go go buy some el rubbing alcohol, either you, if you can get the highest number you can. If you can't, get it from Amazon. It comes in a few days, and um, it's really a fun technique. So get yourself some vellum, and you can just do it. You don't have to use these scallops like I did, but I like the way they frame it with that white. It looks sort of sharp, I think. Alrighty, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Have a good week, everyone. Bye-bye.